Welcome to a little walkthrough on the Dropbox settings. These are settings you make right from your computer. Most of them are very intuitive, but I just want to go over them anyway. So I'm going up top here in my menu bar. I'm going to choose this little gear bar in the bottom right. And so it tells me right when I click on it how much I've used. I can get more space so you can buy more. You can pause the syncing. That's handy if you are uploading a large file and it's slowing down your computer or something to that effect. You can pause it and start it up later on. You can have a help center. That's their help online. You can quit Dropbox and I'm going to show you this afterwards um, at the end of this particular tutorial. And then there's the settings and preferences. This is what I want to do. So to start with, it's pretty straightforward. Your desktop notifications is just that. If someone updates a file or you make changes, you'll get a little notice that you're all set. You want that, yes or no. Black and white, that's simple too. It just changes the menu bar. Start Dropbox on startup. That's just like it says also. You restart your machine, Dropbox automatically logs in. Enable LAN sync. That's handy if you're in a workplace environment, especially if you share files. You'll share computer to computer rather than computer to online to another computer. And enable Dropbox camera import. And that's pretty straightforward too. If you hook up a camera, it wants to bring those pictures in the Dropbox also to back them up. I shut this off because a lot of times a lot of pictures I don't want, so I get rid of them immediately. And I don't need those backed up. And I just go through them in iPhoto and then I back up from there. But whatever works for you. Your account is just that. This is your Dropbox account. You could jump back and forth between the accounts by unlinking and then logging back in. Pretty straightforward. Network, this tells you how much you want to download for your bandwidth. You might not want to use a ton of bandwidth to do this stuff because it interferes with your network. Usually just leaving it like it is is fine. I don't know of anyone who's actually changed that but there may be rare cases, so don't worry about that. Advanced, this says where do you keep the Dropbox. I like keep it in the same spot. And it's nice if the people that work with me do too, because if there's a problem, I know where it is. And also, if it's in one certain spot, every time you might not have to worry about permissions and stuff as much either. And then selective sync, you can actually say, don't sync these items. And, you're only, and it's going to sync the items that's checked. The advanced view, not too much, it just shows your hierarchy. So if you had sub albums, you could change that too. Not sure why you would change it. Usually, if something's in Dropbox, you want to sync it. But there might be cases that it's needed. So, lastly, on this, I want to go back to if you quit Dropbox. I've had people do this and they go, wait a minute, it's gone. It's no longer in your menu bar because you quit it. What do you do? It's a little bit of a panic mode. Dropbox is just an application. So if we actually go to applications, you're going to see something in here called Dropbox. So let's find it. Um, there it is. We open it up. You can see it comes back up on the menu bar, starting it up. And there we go. We're up to date. And there's your Dropbox. So that's how you would get back to it if you deleted it, just in case there's a problem there. So that's really it on the settings. And there are some more settings online, which I'm going to go over. And that will be probably the last class on that. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.